Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my February 2020 empties. Um, so I don't have as much as I used to have. I mean, you guys would sit here for almost a half hour listening to me talk about my empties. February was a short month. I really didn't get started until the, like the second week is when I got back on doing my uh, regular, you know, melting. Um, I took, what, four, almost five months off of melting. I think it was four months that I took off from melting, really. I melted here and there, but not consistently like I do now. So I don't have as many empties, but I'm hoping March I'll have more. I'm really trying to get through scent shots and older wax and whatnot. So I'm going to start with bags. So I have from Sassica Aroma Mom's Day Off. This was a flirty and sweet blend of juicy cherries sparkling champagne red hibiscus so i bought this was from a two pound sampler i bought from her in august of last year um this on cold and on the scent description i did not think i was gonna like on cold it's okay the scent description i was like mm, i don't know i'm not a fan of cherry i will tell you though this was amazing this is something i would buy in a brittle and i'd buy in a poly bag this is really good for summer very fruity fizzy, very bright. I mean, this is a scent that would be perfect for the middle of summer, which really hot out. It's just amazing. It performed very well. I got about a nine out of 10 throw. It lasted all day. It was amazing. From Hayden Rowe, Turquoise Sky. This is one of her uh, ducky, ducky samples. Seagrass Ocean Air Creamy Musk. So the duckies that I put in the bathroom, I always do these in the bathroom. These I cut in quarters because my bathroom is small. I have a small warmer. It's one of the Glade 13 watt hot plates with the very small dish. This was amazing. Performed very well, lasted all day, just a quarter of a ducky. Now y'all know the duckies aren't that big and I cut them in quarters. And this performed very well. It lasted all day, super strong. I'd say probably eight out of 10. Then I have a winter nap, which is the same thing. A ducky that I cut in, in quarters, put it in the bathroom. Again, very strong throw, lasted all day. I would say about a nine out of 10. Pink clouds, which is pink sugar, white clouds. White clouds is a laundry blend. I love white clouds mixed with um, fruit. I love white clouds mixed with uh, pink sugar. White clouds is amazing. Again, a ducky I cut in quarters. <laughs> Same thing, about an eight and a half out of 10, lasted forever. Sassagor Roma Coin Wash, this I got in a D stash. Um, it was just a couple little chunks. I have so much coin, I have a, I think I still have a brittle and I have a chunky tub of coin wash. I love coin wash. But anyways, this performed very well. I cut the, the chunks in I think thirds, cause again, bathroom very small. This just 10, 12 hours and it was still going, but I, I, I either was changing it out or I was dumping it for the night. I only leave my bedroom warmers going 24 seven because I do melt at, I do melt the bedroom lavender type scents at night. But yeah, this just, I would say this was a 10 out of 10. It just performs so well. Then I did blueberry donuts. This is still sassy girl aroma. This is juicy blueberries stuffed inside a strawberry jelly donut. This was amazing. This I would purchase in a poly bag. Just a very good blend. Nice blueberry strawberry donut. Amazing. I would say this was about an eight and a half out of 10. From Super Tarts, Sand Dollar Cookies. This I got in a D stash. I don't know the age of it, so I want to finish it up. It's just a couple mini, uh, not mini melter, band bag pieces. Um, this is a very good, it's like sand, pink sands, sugar cookies, I think. Amazing. I love Sand Dollar Cookies. This is one I would pick up in a band bag for sure. Amazing throw, lasted a good eight solid hours. Again, about an 8 out of 10. Berry Lovely Vanilla Crunch Donuts from Rose Girls. This is an amazing blend. I have another one in my melt basket for this month. This is a super nice fruity bakery scent. So you definitely get that Vanilla Crunch Donuts and you definitely get the Berry Lovely, which is a berry blend. And I would say this is about in 7, 7.5 out of 10. It's not as strong as some of her other stuff, but it's still amazing. It performed very well. It just scented my whole kitchen up very nicely. From Sassy Girl, I did Rock Zinger. I did a bunch of these from this sampler. These are all from the same sampler. Rock Candy Raspberry Zinger. This is another one I would definitely pick up in a poly bag. It was a very nice raspberry um, 
raspberry blend. I losing my train of thought. It's Monday, so my brain's dead anyway. This was probably an eight, eight and a half out of 10 and it lasted all day. I would definitely repurchase that. The Big Bounce from Sasago Aroma, Beach Night Pomegranate Cotton Candy Birthday. I did order a poly bag in this um, a couple weeks ago or the last time it was offered. This is definitely a favorite of mine. It is definitely heavy on the Beach Nights, but you definitely get the pomegranate and then the cotton candy and birthday just kind of sweeten it and cream it out. Amazing. I love this scent. This is another one that lasted probably eight to 10 hours and it was a nine out of 10 throw. From Rose Girls Lemon Cotton Candy Ice Cream Cake. These were little, little mini melter pieces that you get in the samplers. I think this was like the like the best seller sampler or whatever that I had bought. I love this blend. This is one I would pick up in a loaf or a chunk bag the next time it is offered. London Tea and Lemon Type from Sasago Roma. This I would not repurchase. I'm more of a fan of a fruity tea. For example, to compare it, I would compare it to like um, Doomsday from Super Tarts that has the plum with the lemon and tea. I like that better than this one. This one was okay. It was very strong. This is probably a 11 out of 10. I mean, it threw through the entire house in one warmer. Um, I put it in the living room. I could smell it in my bedroom, which is on the other end of the house. But I, I wasn't a fan, which kind of sucks that it was so strong. All right, Beach Brew Life from Sassy Girl. Raspberry Brew Life Cinnamon Rolls Beach Nights. This was heavier on the beach nights and the cinnamon rolls. The cinnamon rolls was a sweeter cinnamon, not a heavy bakery cinnamon. And you did get a hint of the raspberry. This one was another one that was a very strong thrower, um, probably at least eight to 10 hours and was probably a nine out of 10. And the last bag is Winter Nap from um, Hayden Row. Another ducky I cut in quarters, put in the bathroom, performed very well. All right, now on to my scent shots. I have one from Hayden Row, Brady Bunch. So this one... Fizzy Soda Orange Satsuma Strawberry Passion. This disappointed me on cold, super, super fruity, super fizzy, amazing. On warm, it was super fruity and super fizzy, but it only lasted about two hours, which is very uncharacteristic for Hayden Row to me. I do not usually get weak throws from Hayden Row, and I thought a fruity, fizzy, fizzy scent was going to last a lot longer. So it, it just it threw me. It very much threw me. Not a fan of things that don't perform well. Um, so I'm just kind of like, eh, I won't buy that one again. It did smell good while it was going, but I don't know what happened. And I bought that directly from her. It wasn't from a D-stash. From Dessa's North Pole Bakery, y'all know I hated this. <laughs> it just smelled so spicy on warm. Um, it's supposed to be like a minty gingerbread cookies. And it just smelled like mint spice. And I just was not a fan whatsoever. From Teddy Bee's Do Amore. I have no idea. Creme Brulee Vanilla Cake Pops Vanilla Cake Pops Vanilla Cream. This was good. Heavy on like vanilla. It was a vanilla bakery, more or less. Um, it was good. It wasn't as strong as other scents from her, but it, it performed very well. Blueberry lemon cheesecake from Teddy Bee's. This one was amazing. This one was creamy cheesecake, blueberries, vanilla buttercream, lemon zest, sugar cookie. This one performed very well. I did cut this in quarters. I did put a quarter in my living room, a quarter in my kitchen. I did that twice. It wasn't as long lasting as if I had done a half of, half of a scent shot, but it still performed very well. It was super strong while it was going. And now I have a few from K and I'm done. Agree, this is one of the one ounce ones. I don't know what the scent notes on this. This kind of has like a fresh type, soapy type scent to it. It was really good. I cut it in half, did it in the bathroom two different times. Performed very well. That, I've been getting really good luck from K's. So I used to complain about not getting a throw from K's. Back when I lived at the other house, K would not throw for me for anything. Now I'm getting performance that's out of this world. Several vendors, Rose Girls was not performing for me at the other house. VCS was not performing for me at the other house and now everybody is. I think it's because the ceilings are lower. The air vents in the other house were in the ceiling so I think they were just pushing the air like pushing the wax around up in the air and not down where we needed it and now we have the vents are in the floor and the ceilings are not as tall and I think that helps. Next is Marshmallow Fireside. So this was amazing. I'm super sad I don't have more of this. This I would pick up in a loaf from her. I do have some Marshmallow Fireside from a different vendor. Um, so I am going to just hold off on buying more. But that I would definitely repurchase. 
And the last thing for this month is White Clouds from Kay. These were all the one ounce scent shots. Cut these in half. This was amazing as well. This I would get again. Just a nice, White Clouds is a nice creamy laundry blend. It's amazing. I love it. It is probably one of my favorites. Gain, Downy, and White Clouds are my favorites. All right, so that is it for my empties for the month of February. Again, not a ton, but I did have some, and I will be back next month. I'm saving my March, and I'm starting off strong in March, so I will be back at the end of the March with my March empties, and I will have, I have a couple hauls I'll be uploading this week, and then I have my weekly, you know, videos. I did order some ready to ship from a couple vendors. I do have a Rainbow Melts coming um, super tarts, I think, band bags I ordered almost a month ago should be done. I, I did order a couple pre-orders, so those will be about a month out. So, yeah, I've been, I've been naughty, but now I'm done, so we're good. <laughs> All right, so I will talk to y'all later. Bye.